So today I went and checked my mail, not really expecting anything. And when I got out there, I found a package from Sega. Imagine this is the package. I already got rid of the package. But inside the package is what really threw me off. I was not told we were getting anything else from Sega. I got the Genesis Mini about a week or two ago and we reviewed that and I love it. Absolutely, we'll pop a link in the description below if you wanna go take a look at that review, which you really should, because if you were a fan of the Genesis or had one growing up and you wanna relive and you know some of those memories and play some of those games, this is one of the best ways to do it. So we already had the system, and so I was like, what is this, another Genesis Mini? Sega isn't releasing anything else crazy huge that as far as I'm aware of. They're not releasing anything. I still got a package in relation to the Genesis. If you're familiar with the Genesis, you'll know that they had a ton of accessories, some weird, some cool ones for the system. Like they did the Sega CD, which was a disc-based add-on for the Sega Genesis. They also had the 32X add-on, which went on the top of the system. But then they had weird games like Sonic & Knuckles, where it had a slot in the top of the cartridge that you could pop in another Sonic game to then play as Knuckles in a different Sonic game. But essentially what they called that, if you, if you stacked a bunch of those things together, is the Tower of Power. Now, I'm not sure if that's officially what Sega called it, or if that was just what it was referred to on the streets. But basically, Sega is releasing the Tower of Power accessory pack in Japan for the Mega Drive. So it has a Sega CD, a 32X, a Sonic & Knuckles cartridge. There's some other weird stuff for it too. But so far, nothing has been announced for Europe or America. The Genesis in Japan and Europe is known as the Mega Drive. So if you were to import one of those and use it with the Sega Genesis, it would probably look a little weird just because it's got some Mega Drive labeling and it'll have Genesis labeling. Like it'll, it'll work probably. I guess I can't confirm that. It should work, but it just won't look right. So what Sega decided to do, which from all, what I know, this is only being sent to media, people who probably reviewed the Genesis, is they sent, they sent over a exclusive like special edition sega genesis tower mini is what they're calling it but it's the tower of power so you have there's a sega cd unit on the bottom here by the way from what i know it, it says on the back here there's no electronics in here so none of this should be functional at all I, unless they just whipped some magic in here but there's a sega genesis cd in here, a model, model one as well, not the one that goes on the side. 32X add-on, the Sonic and Knuckles like cartridge with the, the openable tray. At least I imagine it, it opens because the pictures show it. And then a Sonic, the Hedgehog Genesis cart. It's like, I, I'm speechless. I'm so happy about this. This is so cool. It's so cool to see this level of attention and detail and, and care put into this. I, I mentioned in my review that I, I knew that Sega, I, I could feel it that this wasn't just, you know, some other job or some other idea for Sega. It was a passion project. This was something they were trying to do to celebrate the system. And I feel so, I'm speechless. Thank you, Sega, for sending one of these over. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this open so we can all take a look at it and so I can share the moment with you guys because I'm, I'm so stoked on this. It's, this is gonna go up on my shelf. It's gonna be great. Oh man. All right, let's get this cracked open. So we're gonna start out by taking a look at the box itself. You can see the side here just shows off the Genesis with all of its accessories. I think the other side says the same. Oh, this other side is a little different. It's got some color on there and it mentions just everything that it includes. Sega Genesis mini console, not included, but we have one right there, so that's okay. And right there, just kidding, that's the same one. They're one in the same. Pretty much the same as one of those other sides. The bottom is open, so you can just readily see the Sega CD mini. The backside just kind of shows off the tower again, gives some extra specs and stuff, and then says, build your tower of power with the official accessory kit made especially to stack with the Sega Genesis Mini. And then it also says here, this product has no electronic parts and is for display only. And then how to assemble. And it shows, it gives directions on how to put it all together. It's pretty funny. So now let's go ahead and open it up. We can see that there's a Sonic the Hedgehog cartridge, the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge, the 32X itself, and then the Sega CD, which looks terrible from the top. Once we take a look at it from the side, that's when it really shines. So there's a little Sonic cart. It's got the spine up there on top too. It's got a fake little, fake little cartridge actually in there. Even has all the, the necessary warnings on the back too. So there's a Sonic the Hedgehog cartridge for comparison sakes. And then we have the Sonic and Knuckles cart. Flops open on the top, just like you'd hope. It's got the label right there on the front. And then here is the 32X unit. 
Still pretty tiny. As you can see, it fits in the palm of my hand. And then we'll pop the Sega CD out of its box. And there's the Sega CD unit. Now it's time to put it all together. And we go ahead and take the Genesis and we have this little side piece over here that we have to take actually off. Oh, there we go. So that pops off and then it opens up the part where the Sega CD would normally connect to the Genesis. So you push that on here and it actually does slide into place too, that's cool. The 32X just pops right into the top like so. We'll take Sonic and Knuckles, we'll pop that in, we'll open up the tray. Sonic the Hedgehog will go in on the top. Voila! It's so cool. It, it's perfect. Literally perfect. And there you have it. This is the Sega Genesis Mini Tower of Power. It's so cute. It's so great. It's wonderful. Now, unfortunately, you cannot play Sonic and Knuckles on the Genesis Mini. If you made it this far in the video, you probably know all about it. And look at there's rubber feet. One of my complaints with the actual Genesis, there was no rubber feet. There's rubber feet. Oh, so great. It's not gonna move anywhere. Feel free to let us know in the comments down below if you're still planning on picking up a Genesis Mini or if you have one pre-ordered or if they release this, you know, physically, just not to the members of the press. Would you buy one of these? Does that interest you? And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you go ahead and stack your fingers on your mouse as many as you can, and then tap that like button, subscribe to Nintendo Life, and then ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, I get it. We're a Nintendo channel, but you don't... Sega Life isn't a thing right now.